So in this video, I want to just talk through the short paper assignment that I assigned a number a couple of weeks ago. And the topic was inspired by an article I read in The Economist. And in this article, sociologists are arguing about whether or not war is embedded in our human nature. This little, uh, this little quote over here. Um, here we are. Right here. And Edward Wilson, supposedly the founder of sociobiology, thinks that it is, that we are inherently warlike animals. And other scientists have more recently put this all into question. They think that we humans are far more peaceful, far more peaceful, as he says down here, far more peaceful than Wilson gives us credit for. So in your short paper, <clears throat> excuse me, in your short paper, I want you to think about where you, Aristotle, and Augustine might fall in this debate. Now you might be thinking, I have no clue what Aristotle and Augustine would say about this. So in this video, I want to help you out a bit in thinking about the content of the essay and what I'm, what I'm looking for here. Now, with regard to Aristotle, think about the, uh, what he says in the opening chapters of The Politics. Remember that there he talked about how we humans are fundamentally political animals. And this is reflected in part by our ability to have logos, that is, our ability to reason and to express our thoughts in language. So for Aristotle, we humans are naturally community forming. So we might war with other communities, but this is really secondary to the fact that we are creatures that naturally belong in communities. So if we're not first and foremost living in a just society, or if we're not at least trying to achieve a just society, then we for Aristotle are not being fully human. Now with regard to Augustine, keep in mind that for him we humans are essentially sinful. And because we are all sinners, the communities to which we belong are always in a fragile state, since at any time our sinful ways could disrupt the tenuous peace that holds the community together. For Augustine, our natural desire for power and dominion suggests that we are um, much more warlike than Aristotle allows. And you already knew this, and I'm just reminding you, but, but given all this, right, so we've got to think about how to structure the paper. And so in the assignment, I tried to give you some parameters that are listed here. Um, so keep in mind that I want your paper to be written not for me, but for a friend of yours who has never taken a philosophy class before. So begin here with, with an introduction. Begin with an introduction um, that explains what you're going to do in this paper in a way that's um, intelligible to someone, like I said, who is not um, well-versed in philosophy. So then in the second paragraph, I want you to explain Aristotle's view of humans as not warlike, but as naturally political. And this is going to require you to give an analysis of the relevant portion of Book 1, um, Book 1, Chapter 2 in Aristotle's Politics. Remember that in analyzing an argument, you need to explain why Aristotle holds each of, the claims, uh, each of his claims to be true. So merely stating his claims is not enough. Now in the third paragraph, I want you to imagine how Augustine would attack Aristotle's argument. And in thinking about how Augustine would attack Aristotle's position, it might be helpful to think of the differences between Augustine and Aristotle on uh, their views of human nature. And so here I put together a list down here, I put a list down here um, of some of the relevant uh, differences between Aristotle and Augustine that you guys all pointed out in your discussion board posts. So for example, Aristotle and Augustine differ as to whether or not vice can ever be fully removed from our personalities, right? Whether happiness can be a human achievement in this lifetime whether or not happiness uh, requires citizenship, whether or not happiness requires loving God, and whether true peace can be found um, only through God, or whether it's actually obtainable um, in this earthly city. Now, with, with reference to your paper assignment here, I think the relevant differences appear here in the first three, these first three differences. You know, so Augustine, for example, thinks that we are inherently co corrupt creatures. He thinks that our happiness is not achieved in this lifetime, and that it certainly need not involve political engagement. Um, so I want you to explain in your paper just how Augustine agrees with Aristotle on these three points, and be sure to discuss Aristotle, excuse me, Augustine's arguments for them. The discussion of Augustine regards Aristotle's view of human nature, and so you've got to point out here just how these three features then bear on the debate here above about with the sociobiologists as to whether or not humans are warlike. Now, in the final paragraph going up here, um, I want you to present your own opinion, right? So this is the conclusion. 
So do you agree with Augustine, or do you find Aristotle's view of human nature more plausible? And I want you to really focus on why. Don't just say, I, you know, um, I like Aristotle's view, it sounds better. No, give reasons as to why. Draw from personal experience. Draw from examples in history. Um, just point out flaws in the opponent's arguments. There's lots of ways to do this, but I want you just to think about um, what's really motivating your position and why. Um, okay, I, I hope this helps. I'm going to postpone the deadline for this paper until Saturday, November 9th. And, and I should also add that I'm really happy to review a draft if you can send it to me no later than Thursday the 7th. Um, that way I can give you more uh, rich feedback before you actually submit it finally. Okay, good luck everyone.